food came from. It wasn't nothing about the, the, the meat. It wasn't nothing about the wine that was so bad. But where it came from, what it represented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he knew by indulging in this particular feast yeah. would go against what God had already previously instructed. Yes. Joshua, he reminded Joshua 1 7, he said, Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all that which is in Moses' law. Yeah. I've commanded my servant, do not turn from it from the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. Yeah. See, a lot of people like the, the word success at the end of that. But let me give you something before that. Do not turn. <laughs> you want to say it? success? Don't turn. Don't turn. You want to be blessed? Don't turn. You want good favor and strength? Don't turn. You want to go spiritually? You cannot turn from the right or to the left. The law of Moses, that's the only thing they had at that time, was the Pentateuch. Uh -huh. So he said, don't deviate from it. Let me help somebody out. Yeah. And a lot of times when we turn from the word of God, when we turn from the instructions that are given to us, all of a sudden we find ourselves in dry places. Uh, we find ourselves compromising yeah. more. And I know I'm talking about on the spiritual level because in the natural we know as human beings, us that are married like myself, every now and then we do got to give a little. But see, God don't give a little. But we in human flesh have to give a little. Because we, 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 we deal with the senses. We, de we deal with emotions. And let, let me tell you something. Men are emotional too. Uh -huh. wow. Men like more than what you think they do. Uh -huh. See, that's just the world's concept that they have embedded in the minds of people. They go, oh, all I got to do is wait till a man's heart is through his stomach. No, not necessarily so. Uh -huh. Divorce court wouldn't be on the rise if that was just the case. Because you got a whole lot of people that can cook, but that would make them a good wife. I got the I got degrees. Yeah, degrees are good for things that the degrees will help out in, like the bills. But degrees, the degrees don't profit it. I ain't talking about the degrees you put under your arm. I'm talking about the degrees we got on the wall. They do profit. Matter of fact, I'm working on my bachelor's. I got a few more months and I'll have it. But that is good for the condo. It is good for the car insurance. It is good helping my children get out of school care. It's good for putting steak and crab legs on, on the table. It's good for getting chicken. It's good for getting suits and clothes. That is stuff is good. But it don't make a marriage. And I know some of us, we love animals. Oh, my cat is everything I live for. But dog is all I got. But the Bible said when he created Adam, after everything was made, he said he found Adam alone. Every animal had a male and a female. If Adam didn't, didn't need a woman, why the Bible said he was alone? Mm -hmm. And God said, let, let me make you a help man, because I don't want you looking at that cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get you somebody, brother. Uh -huh. and, and, and I know, know what the Bible said, Timothy, they gonna forbid marriage uh -huh. to abstain for certain foods. To do this, to do that, and the other. This asceticism type approach that we can work our way really into the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. We look out from the grace system. It's Christ alone. It's him, his death, his burial, his resurrection. That's why we can sit in the house of God and not be consumed by fire. That's why we come boldly before the throne of grace. Yeah, yeah. Full of grace and truth. Yeah, yeah. Preach it, Yeah. Daniel 6. Uh -huh. We know the story of King Desiris. Desiris at this time was in position. And they had slipped this law. They got the king to sign it. Mm, right. But won't God give you favor? Yeah. 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 The Bible says that King Darius kept Daniel uh -huh. as an advisor. And even though he signed this particular law and put it in place, and at the time Daniel was getting ready to go in the lion's den, Daniel went on in and, and King Darius, as a matter of fact, he said he was going to even pray for him. Yeah. 
And he prayed for him. And David went in the lion's den. And, and the Bible says on the following day, when it came and rolled the stone back, Daniel still standing strong. Amongst beasts and lions trying to consume them. In other words, what are you saying, preacher? Let me bring it up today for you. You may be in camp with a lot of lions and demons around you. You may have beasts on every side. You may have like Paul say, I'm in trouble on every side. Yet not perplexed in despair. But yet, come on, somebody. I may have the lions. I may have the beasts. I may have Trump, Obama, whoever name you want to put on the road. But the same God that that's why I worry about stuff so much. Because my soul is anchored. Not saying I'm not affected by the shooting in Parkland. Not saying I'm not affected by the kids that are dying in Cumberland. What I am saying is, I am crucified in Christ. Amen. Which is equivalent to a slave. Yes. 
He even, Delilah got 5,500. Judah got short circuit. And he would walk with God incarnated in the flesh. I mean, see the miracles. I ain't talking about like we read it and we, we believe by faith, but you can see the miracles. Then Nicodemus and John. Chapter 3, people miss this portion of Nicodemus. He said, we perceive you to be a rabbi. Because no man can do these things except the Lord be with them. But the key part of that phrase, he said, we perceive. He didn't say, I. He said, we. Now, what you mean, preach about we? I'm so glad you asked. In other words, he was coming as a representative of those that didn't really want to show up and be honest and be forthright and say that, no, you is something different about you. I know we're fighting against you, but I know God's hand is really on your life because no man can do these things except God. God be with us. But here's Judas. Agreed to portray Jesus. Concerning Jesus of silver. But before he can get to the whales far go. The family. Before he could throw a little bit more money in his mutual fund. Oh in his stock. Into, into his investment account to make his portfolio look a little bit better. Before he could get to that point, Gibbs said he. And the Bible said he went back to him trying to give the money up. And they stood back and said, no, that's blood money. We won't take it. Then he went outside of the city and hung himself with the money bag still on him because he was willing to compromise. We know the story of Ananias and Sapphire, chapter 5 of Acts. The Bible said they, they saw that the people were doing charitable deeds. And just because God touched one man to give 500, and just because you have 500 or even more, that don't mean you need to mimic the next man. Because one person is giving from their heart and another person just giving out of their abundance. Amen. But here, here their true motive is about to be exposed. All right. Because they was willing to compromise. And the Bible said that when they sold the land, they gave a portion of what the land was sold for because they had made a little bit more. And sometimes money will mess all of us up. Yes. That's what the Bible said for the love. That's what he would teach the Timothy to not to love money. In 2 Timothy chapter 6, right verse 10, he said, the, the love of money is the root of all evil. And many men have pierced, have pierced themselves with many sorrows. In other words, it has brought strong grief for men of God because they love money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not even more, they're not even that much more effective anymore because their heart is so geared on money. You can't even call them and say, hey, brother, I, you know, it was, it was blessed. I want, I want you to come over and just, just really and bless the hearts of the people. Well, Doc, how, 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 what am I going to get out of it? Yeah. Yeah. I almost sound like somebody working on the corner of OPT. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to get out of it? And you know what they mean? I need, I need, I need a thousand dollars up front, another five thousand when I get there. How can you charge the priest the word? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not your word. Yeah. Not those decks. Then somebody would say, "Muzzle out the officer and tread the court." Yeah, but he didn't say, "Well, you put a price on it." Right. He said, "Just a muzzle it." You let the people of God hearts be touched to give. Yeah. But people have been so bewitched, like the people in the book of Galatians, that what Paul said, who have bewitched you? Yes. Yeah. To error and go away from the truth yes. that has been taught to you. Yes. You're trying to go back to this old Judaizer system, this old works yes. righteous system. But come on, who have bewitched you? Yes. To turn away from the truth. Yes. Yes. And then in the book of Colossians, they was experiencing the same thing. It was adding other helpful elements to their Christian doctrine. Uh, and, and it was erring and turning away from the faith. That's what he had to go back to remind them. But back to Ananias and Sapphire. Just a few more minutes. Back to Ananias and Sapphire. The Bible said that they sold the land. Uh -huh. And Peter came to them. And said, why have Satan filled your heart? To lie. Yeah. See, 
I don't think a true believer can be fully possessed by a demon, but I do.